So for about two weeks now, old Kia has been at this uh, shop here. And uh, let me tell you, the Pennsylvania RV show, the Hershey show, it's uh, about a week away, so I'm, I'm getting restless. Well, that was Thursday morning. It is now Saturday night, and my suspicions were correct. Uh, apparently, they ran into all kinds of problems, uh, putting a new engine into... New engine, yeah. Actually, I'll tell you all about it tomorrow morning. I'm gonna hit the road now. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, good morning. Uh, this is where I ended up spending the night. Now let's get some breakfast, uh, shall we? And my favorite is usually Grandpa's. I just had the Grandpa's uh, breakfast, which is my favorite. I arrived here last night. Ooh, what time was it? Like at 1 a.m. And it is now 7-ish. And uh, I'm gonna take a quick break and then hit the road again. This is where I slept. Very nice, very quiet. Uh, we're here in, in Vero Beach, Florida. And now, as we hit the road, I'm gonna tell you what happened to the car. Let me tell you what happened. Um, a little over two weeks ago, I took the car, you know, for service. It needed it, you know. I, I was going to embark on this long trip to New England. Uh, so, you know, spark plugs, brakes, belts, the works. So, but what happened? By the time I was supposed to pick up the car, the, the service manager of the place tells me that there is a problem. They broke some hoses and they had to replace them and they had to order them. It wouldn't be ready till the next day. The next day he tells me that when they turn over the engine for the first time it was making a horrible noise and they were gonna fix it, don't worry. Well, two weeks later I, I just got my car and uh, the consensus is, and he, he isn't even sure, but the consensus is that a tiny piece of, of ceramic from one of the spark plugs uh, fell into the um, into the engine somewhere in there. I'm not a mechanic, but I know the basics of internal combustion. I guess if, if something falls into the cylinder and you fire up the engine, that could cause some damage. To make a long story short, they had to get me a new engine and, uh, it, and it happened to be a long weekend. So the new engine took forever to get here to Miami. There to Miami, I'm not in Miami anymore. And then to add insult to injury, apparently when they were, you know, when they took everything apart, it's an old, it's an old car. So like all the hoses, they, they, they cracked, you know, they, they, everything started falling apart when they took everything uh, out. And in order to put the engine back in, they basically had to put back all new hoses, all new cables, all, all new, uh, even, even the, the reservoir for the, for the coolant, everything is new. So yeah, Kia is running great. I'm on, the, I'm on the road again. And this video is going to be mostly on the road because I'm driving, I have to drive nonstop if I, if I want to make it to Hershey, Pennsylvania by industry day, which is the, the goal now. So I'm leaving much later and I'm trying to arrive one day earlier, so, or at least half a day earlier. So that's the story, enjoy the ride, and um, and if I can show you anything along the, along the way, I will. I'm gonna stop here by Palm Coast uh, to put gas and buy Illy's favorite wine. And uh, then off we go again.
passing downtown Jacksonville. And with that, we say goodbye to Florida and hello to Georgia on my mind. Let's go into the Welcome Center. Well, hello everybody. I took a shower. Can you tell? It is very hot here in, in southern Georgia and northern Florida. And uh, I'll probably start breaking a sweat here really soon. But anyways, let, let's, go inside the, let's go inside the Welcome Center, see what's going on, uh, what they have. Uh, which, by the way, I am, I am thinking of taking a more inland route, in part because of the heat. Maybe, you know, if I hug uh, the, the Appalachian Mountains a little more, uh, it'll be less hot, cooler. And uh, according to Google, it's only 20, 25 extra minutes, so it might be worth it. Anyway, I'm doing pretty good time. It is, uh, I've been here almost an hour. It is now almost 1 p.m. and I'm going to see if I can get a Georgia map and hit the road again. Well, my original plan, I was going to explore this area, the Cumberland Islands. You know, I wanted to, to explore Cumberland Island and, and even a little no further north, like Jerkel Island and all that. <clears throat> but of course, you all know that's not going to happen, right? Got my map. Let's continue. By the way, part of the reason why I'm taking that more of a western, you know, inland route is uh, check it out. It's uh, because um, I want to avoid like the big cities, like DC. You know, that, that that eastern corridor can get a little busy sometimes. Did I mention it is hot? <sighs> let's let's go north quickly. Let's go into the mountains. You see, that's what I would like to have a motorized. You just flip a switch and you have air conditioning, you know, generator. Uh, unless I figure out a way to permanently mount a generator here, you know. Because right now, for, for the time I'm gonna be here, I don't wanna like carry the generator down, take out the cable, you know, it's it's a little bit of an ordeal. Let me, let me show you what they did here with the engine. By the way, I still have sand from Key West down there. You see, apparently all these hoses, all these cables, they put new, the reservoir is new as well. The only thing that's, that has me kind of nervous is that they didn't put the, the plastic the cover. I don't know if that's just ornamental or if that's like something that helps anything with the engine. And this seems to be loose. Like they forgot to put a screw somewhere. I'll figure it out. Anyways, let's continue north. Next state is South Carolina. As I'm about to leave, I get recognized by this nice gentleman and his family. Sorry I didn't get his name, but if you watch this video, you made my day, as my travel woes are about to begin. A couple of miles uh, down the road, the check engine light came on. Engine vibrations and loss of power followed, and uh, I'm like, this is no good. Luckily, they have Tires Plus locations everywhere in this area, so I've decided to stop here in Brunswick to see if they can take a look at it. They don't seem to be very busy, but they've said that they cannot look at it until tomorrow. I understand it is a Sunday afternoon. I'm just gonna use my OBD2 reader here to have an idea what is going on and get this show back on the road. Check engine light did turn on and it started running rough for a couple of miles back there. The code said something about cylinder 5 misfire, but I cleared it and I forgot to take a screenshot. Uh, I'm sure it'll happen again. I went to the tires plus, but they couldn't do anything, they, they didn't have enough uh, employees, I guess. It's Sunday. We'll make it there. 
since the misfire seems to be very intermittent and 90% of the time the engine runs well, I've made the executive decision to continue pushing north. Maybe it is just a glitch, maybe I'm just a fool, but at this point I'm still kind of determined to make it to Hershey by tomorrow. Let's stop here at the South Carolina Welcome Center and take a break. Hmm, it looks like we have a couple of stowaways here. Some much needed coffee and on the road again we are. Okay, let's talk about gas mileage. Not great. Uh, last, uh, last fill up was uh, 9.87 uh, miles per gallon, but it's been hovering around 9. I, I, I thought with the new engine, new spark plugs and all that, that would, I would get better mileage. But it's actually a little worse, which is um, unexpected. I am going to take I-26 West now and make that inland detour. And there is the occasional rain, but this is my kind of landscape. Rolling hills, which is a nice change of scenery for sure. As night begins to fall, I arrive at Columbia. Not the South American country, but South Carolina's capital city. And uh, check out uh, Exhibit A here on the left. There's a Walmart nearby, apparently RV friendly, so... Yeah, good night. Well, I can't sleep, so I'm gonna hit the road early. By the way, good morning. I think we're making it to Hershey today. I don't know if you noticed, but I moved last night. Uh, I decided to come to the Cracker Barrel. That that Walmart looked a little sketchy, and in my experience, if a place uh, looks sketchy, it usually is, and it's better to err on the side of caution. So, anyways, it is uh, now 5:30 a.m. and let's try to beat Charlotte's uh, rush hour traffic. Well, so much for beating rush hour traffic, huh? And now it doesn't look like old Kia is going to make it very far, so I pull over to regroup here. I mean, the misfiring is still very intermittent, but it is evident that it is getting worse. As we pass the Carowinds Amusement Park, we are now in North Carolina. Welcome to North Carolina. We drive across Lake Norman by the city of Mooresville, and by this point, old Kia is limping along. Let me stop at this rest area here because I have to make a decision. But first, breakfast. Okay, let me tell you what's going on. I am uh, here about, a, about an hour north of uh, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. At this uh, rest area, I just had breakfast. I, I put that OBD2 code reader and it says um, P0205, which is like a, like an injector uh, under voltage or something like that. And then there is a P0305, which is a, a cylinder a five misfire. I don't know if that's something really serious. I don't know if I'm going to make it or if I should uh, take it to a... To a shop you know uh, th there's no tire plus here in this area but they told me that i could take it to any firestone i don't know if i should try to make it I'm, I'm still about five to six hours away from from hershey uh i mean if i take it to a place i am not gonna make it to uh to industry day so i don't know i'm, I'm in that um uh, what's the word i'm looking for you know what i mean indecision dilemma well, I'm going to have to backtrack to Mooresville and I'm going to take it to a Firestone see what's going on. Oh well. So I'm backtracking about 20 miles. Yeah, I, I, I was going to try to push it, see if uh, I could make it, but 
I'd rather get stuck here and not in the middle of nowhere. By the way, Mooresville here is home of many NASCAR racing teams and drivers, so it is probably also home of some of the best mechanics in the world. So if I'm going to break down, this is probably the best place in the nation for it. Well, I'm boondocking at the Firestone. Well, I'm gonna start to do like Mike and say that my plan is not to have a plan because I did not have a plan to, to spend the night here in Mooresville, North Carolina. But it looks that way. I've got my, my generator going back there. And uh, apparently there is one connector uh, on the engine, something that the people in Miami didn't do correctly, apparently. And, um, and they're ordering it. It's coming tomorrow morning, so tomorrow morning but tomorrow noon I should be able to to depart towards Hersh Hershey Her Ugh, I'm tired towards Hershey Pennsylvania and see some of the RV show and meet some of you guys I think I'm gonna edit some video while I'm here I'll turn on the AC a little bit had I known I, I would have leveled the RV a little better but it's not bad it's, it's level enough I'll keep it posted. Oh, by the way, did I mention there's a hurricane coming? Yeah, that too. I went to dinner with my friend and fellow YouTuber Brian Wood and his family, but we didn't even take a selfie. Oh, good morning from Mooresville, North Carolina. Here I am, editing a little bit of a video. I brought my generator in last night. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess in here. Uh, there's uh, my mobile office with oops, my CDs and stuff. And uh, here I am, boondocking at the Firestone still. I'm going to make some coffee now and uh, some breakfast. And then I found the post office. I have to walk like a quarter mile or so. And I'm going to mail one CD. And, and then hopefully by noon, Kia will be ready. Wrap for breakfast, I put some ham cheese, chicken salad from Publix, some veggies, and some Thousand Island dressing, and, uh, and one of these um, organic mission tortillas. Uh, the mechanic said that he's going to, um, the, the parts arrive around 10, 11 ish, and the mechanic told me he was gonna get right to it, you know, he's gonna drop everything and get right to it, so he can get me out of here soon. So. I'm anticipating between 12 and 1 p.m. I'll be on the road, but who knows? Well, I just uh, mailed a CD here, found this uh, place. And check it out, they have a Publix here. I know in New England things might start to, to look a little unfamiliar, but at least for now, we're still in Publix land. My mechanic here owns a vintage Dodge Ram, so you know he's legit, right? Still, he's been working all day on old Kia, and still there's no solution to the misfire problem. All right, everybody, quick uh, quick update here. I'm trying not to lose my cool, but it's been one of those uh, days. Uh, um, I don't know if I told you, but they, they are not able to fix Kia. It's a little bit of a red tape issue with the... Um, with the Miami office and the Miami regional manager. I don't know exactly what's going on yet. But anyways, I came to U-Haul to rent a truck. And unfortunately, everybody very nice here in this town of Mooresville. But unfortunately, uh, their trucks they only have the four pin connection connector. So it's it's no good to tow mini teeny. Now, uh, Richard, a, a viewer, a, a friend here in Mooresville is going to, is going to come uh, pick me up. We're gonna pick up a mini teeny. And I'm gonna be boondocking at his home tonight. And hopefully all this will get uh, solved uh, soon. I really do. I haven't been filming much today because it's, uh, it's been a little bit of a frustrating day, but hopefully tomorrow we'll get on the road and eventually begin this, the, the real portion of this trip. We just arrived here at uh, Richard's house and uh, this gentleman, what's your name again? Barry. Barry was so kind to, to tow me to Minitini with his truck. 
And I'm boondocking here at Richard's uh, place. Hey, we got Robert and, all uh, straightened out. Thank yeah. you so much. I really yeah. appreciate it. And Don't uh, worry about it. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get a truck and, and get on the road before before this hurricane passes through. Listen, my house is your house. You can stay here as long as you want. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Well, here are my luxury accommodations mm -hmm. for the night. Okay. This is where old Kia spend in the night. Yeah. Let's take advantage that we hear stuff that I like. Uh, Richard, where are we going? We're going to Tim's table. Tim's table. And that's... Tim's table in downtown Mooresville. Let me tell you, it's been a stressful day, so, so I could use uh, I could use a nice meal and, and an IPA. <laughs> well, you'll get a nice meal, a good IPA. It's uh, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be good. It's been a stressful day, but it's already getting better. And tomorrow, I have a feeling tomorrow it's gonna be almost back to normal. We'll yep. see. Cool. I have to find a truck. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. See you guys. All right, here we are. Let's eat. Pretty cool place. I think I'm going to go for the Cuban sandwich. Treat, I love it. <laughs> well, let's eat. And just like that, a pretty stressful day comes to an end. As the sun sets over Mooresville, North Carolina. morning from my full hookup site here at Richards. On the next video I will let you know how I finally got on the road again and escaped Hurricane Florence. How's that for a cliffhanger? But before that, I would like to express my gratitude to Richard Lima, who made me feel at home at a time of distress, his friend Barry, who towed Minitini and tried his best actually to get me a rental truck, to Brian Wood and his family, a friend and fellow YouTuber from Mooresville, Andrew, just from south of Charlotte, who also offered me his home and his truck, and the many people the many, many people on social media and everywhere who showed their support and offered to help, even to drive several hours to tow me and Minitini out of harm's way. I will never forget this. And all I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart.